How's it going? My name is Dom and today I'll be talking about references in Rust. A reference is basically just another way to refer to a variable. For example, if your name is Dominic, like me, and you call me Dom, I'm still going to answer. So Dom is the reference to me. We mean the same thing, but it's a different way of referring to the same object or same data. So to first um, to define a reference in Rust, you first need a variable. We can do that now. We'll define a variable called x equal to 10 and that'll be immutable. Now to define a reference to x, we can do it like this. We can say let's xr, short for x reference, equals an ampersand and then x. So the ampersand means you want to get a reference to the variable that you put next to it. So it means a reference to x. Now we can use x the same way, sorry, we can use xr the same way we use x. For example, in a print line statement we can say x is and pass in xr instead of x. So we're giving xr the reference to x to the print line macro. We can now run this and see how it goes. And we get x is 10. Alright, that makes sense. We can now change this to x. We'll try it again. x is 10. So clearly both ways of doing this, x and x are, they both do the same thing. The same output. Because they both mean x. Now, you may also have multiple references to the same value, for example. You can make a new variable called uh, dom equal to, again, a reference to x, and then pass in dom to this print line macro, run it again, and we get 10, this same result. Now what if you wanted to change the value of x through one of these references? Well you might think, okay, you can just say dom plus equals 1. That looks like it's going to work because you're saying, okay, if dom means x, then just do dom plus 1, which means x plus 1. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. You need to define a mutable reference to x to do this. So these two right here are called uh, immutable references. You need to define a mutable reference. We're just going to get rid of xr for now. And then put mut right in front of the ampersand uh, on this line right here. So now this means that dom is now a mutable reference to x which means we can then change x through dom. We also need to put an asterisk right in front of dom in order to do this. So with a mutable reference, if you're changing it or uh, referring to it, you need to put an a, uh, asterisk in front of it. So now if we run this, we'll see how this goes. And we get x is 11. Perfect. But now if we change this to x, we should see 11, right? Let's run it, and we get an error. It says, cannot borrow x as immutable because it's also borrowed as immutable. This error is basically saying, uh, you can't define a mutable reference to x and at the same time borrow it. So the print line macro actually borrows x, and it sort of means the same thing as having a immutable reference to it. This means in order to do this right here, you need to wrap this this modification inside a code block just like this so now there is um, there is no existence of the mutable reference to x outside of this code block once this code block finishes this middle reference no longer exists that's the problem so if we now give this a go uh, we should see success x is 11 so just to run over that bit one more time, I'll bring up the Rust documentation for references and uh, we can see we've got a little statement here. Where is it? Uh, so it says here, so the rules for references is you can have one or more references, so immutable references to a variable or one mutable reference. You can't have two of these at the same time. So again, we're getting rid of the immutable reference 2x once this scope finishes and then we're all clear to then borrow x one more time. And that is all I have on references in Rust. Thank you for watching. See you later.